Angioplasty. Angioplasty is a way of opening a narrowed or closed blood vessel without having to do major surgery. It is less risky and requires less healing time as compared to bypass surgery. Angioplasty is sometimes performed as an emergency immediately following a heart attack. Shortly before starting the procedure, the area in the groin or arm where the catheter is to be inserted is shaved and disinfected. A tube is placed into a vein in the hand to administer fluids and medicines as needed. A sedative is used to help the patient relax. Then a local anesthetic is injected at the site where the catheter is to be inserted, usually in the groin or arm to numb the area. A very small incision is made at this site and a needle is placed in the groin or arm. Next, a thin guide wire is inserted through the needle. The needle is then removed, and a catheter is then advanced over the guide wire into the blocked artery. It is guided into the diseased segment of artery while being monitored on a TV screen, which is attached to a special X-ray camera. A small amount of contrast material is injected to show the exact location of the narrowing of the artery. This X-ray visualization of the blood vessels is called angiography. Subsequently, the balloon tip catheter, which is thinner, is then inserted through the guide catheter. When its tip reaches the narrowed part of the artery, the balloon is inflated. At this point, the patient may feel slight chest pain. After 30 seconds, the balloon is deflated. This cycle usually is repeated several times to widen the artery. Finally, the balloon tip catheter is removed and the angiography is repeated to make sure that blood flow has improved. This entire process usually takes between one to two hours. Depending on the result of the angioplasty, the site of narrowing, and the cardiologist's judgment, a stint may be placed. When the procedure is over, all equipment is removed and the puncture site is compressed in order to heal. The patient usually can return home within a day or two.